Mm, good. So good Monday morning, second of May. Um, a little update and a little status report and the shamanic weather. Um, so we've entered into the Trisena of Akamak. So Akamak the path. So we're going down the path. And the first thing that we encounter is a knowledge. And knowledge can be two types, right? We can have, this is a, actually a yoga sutra. We can have right knowledge, wrong knowledge, which can be gossip or something that we read in the paper, media, something that's happening in a far away land that we have no idea we've never been to that land we have no idea if anybody is actually inhabiting that land we have no idea about that so that's that can be wrong knowledge we can be you know getting spoon fed by uh you know the media as a whole you know um, they, they feed other things. They feed things like, oh, you need to buy this skin cream or you'll be ugly. How you doing today? They feed us that we need bigger orders of fries and more combos and we need more chicken. And they feed us all kinds of things that are lies. So the next day is three tea hash. Tihash is a double-edged sword. So you're going to scrape and um, slide it away and make it, you know, cut out the desired picture in your mind, you know? Cut out the correct information and keep that close to your heart. Um, day four. Here we are for Kawak. So Kawak is thunderstorms and it can be tragedy for somebody who has fear and allows those fears to be involving them in every moment and uh, can't break free of the chains that they have. But, um, but Kawak can also be, you know, the pillars of nature or the four elements you know air earth fire and water where are your strong suits where is your your challenge in life so it's it's essential it's necessary to look at the ideas of like who you are and where you came from and where you're going and try to get those four things to really come up balanced as you're working in your astral realm, in your meditation, in your physical realm, in your spiritual work, in your in your practices, you, you, you know, your goal isn't to look over at your neighbor and be like, oh, I'm so much cuter or prettier, or, you know, thinner, I have a better job, I have more money. Your goal is really to challenge yourself every step of the way to meet your highest you know i want to meet my highest guides i want to meet this guide i'm working for for a long long time and i want to graduate and i want to get to the next place where there's this sort of like little blip, this little blinking light that i see in my in my path I want to get to the place where I can bloop, meet that one that looks so radiant, that being that comes to help me and guide me on my spiritual path for the next, you know, two to five to 20 years. This is the Gringita signing out on this Monday morning. Happy Kowak. <laughs>